Hey, welcome to Honors Grad U. I'm Jared, and today we're talking about the metric system. Back in the 1700s, the metric system was formed by the French, who were trying to standardize the method of measurement across a very measurement polluted Europe. In 1960, the metric system was perfected and relaunched by the French as the International Metric System, or SI. That's the system that all the countries in the world besides the US, Myanmar, and Liberia use today. Now, before we get into explaining the measurements, it's important to realize why Americans should learn the metric system. Besides the fact that literally every country in the world uses the metric system except for the three, the U.S. Metric Association wrote an article on the benefits of U.S. citizens learning to catch up with the world. There were two reasons that were especially convincing. One is how with the metric system, there's no need to convert while traveling, which saves a lot of time and practically eliminates the margin of error. Also, there's no need for fractions with the metric system. It's much easier to add 19 centimeters and 21 centimeters than 7 and 12 25 7 inch plus 8 and 13 50th 7 inch. The metric system is sometimes taught in schools, and you can usually find measurement tools that include both the imperial system and the metric system, just like those little rulers that we used to use in grade school. It was the worst when you'd measure with the centimeter side instead of the inch side. And after this lesson, you'll know how to use both sides of your rulers. You're welcome. Each category of measurement has a base unit. For length, it's the meter. For mass, it's the kilogram. The base unit of volume is the liter, and for temperature, it's degrees Celsius. After you know the base, size is determined by adding prefixes. The ones we'll cover are milli, meaning 1 1,000th, centi, meaning 1 100th, and kilo, meaning 1,000th. For example, a millimeter is 1 1,000th of a meter, a centimeter is 1 100th of a meter, and a kilometer is 1,000 times the size of a meter. That's all crystal clear, I'm sure, but for a little added clarification, let's visualize some of these measurements, beginning with length. Now, one kilometer is the length of Niagara Falls from bank to bank. 100 meters is how far Usain Bolt ran in 9.58 seconds to win the world record at the Olympics. 10 meters is the width of a tennis court. One meter is about the length of a baseball bat or a guitar. 10 centimeters is the average width of a man's palm. 10 millimeters is the width of an average acorn. And one millimeter is the thickness of denim cloth. Now for mass... Get your mass out of here. 1,000 kilograms, or one ton, is about the weight of a small car. 100 kilograms is the weight of a large man. Fun fact, about 15% of Caucasian males in the U.S. weigh 100 kilograms or more. 10 kilograms is the average weight of a one-year-old. One kilogram is the weight of a liter of water. 100 grams is the weight of a ball between the size of a tennis ball and a baseball. And 10 grams is about how much 50 cents weighs. That's 50 cents, not 50 cent. And one gram is the weight of a paperclip. We're all probably more familiar with measuring volume in the metric system, because anyone that is baked has probably used milliliters at some point. Also, jugs of soda are measured as two liters instead of gallons, for some unknown reason. For those of us that aren't familiar, a milliliter is equal to about 20 drops of water. To fill a teaspoon, you would need about five milliliters. So since milli means one one thousandth, how many milliliters are in a liter? One thousand. It's that simple. Now moving on to temperature, which is measured in degrees Celsius, the melting point for ice is zero degrees Celsius. The average temperature for a healthy human is 37 degrees Celsius, and the boiling point for water is at 100 degrees Celsius. Actually, here in Provo, Utah, it's 95 degrees Celsius, but we'll do science another day. I hope you got a better idea of what all those other crazy Euro, Canadian, South American, Asian, Australian, Middle Easterners are talking about. Now come back every Monday and Friday for more videos, and of course leave us a comment below telling us what you like or dislike about the metric system. If you already know the metric system and sat through this video, thank you. All the sources and social media links are below in the description box, but you can also click this fancy annotation to go to honorsgradu.com and read all of our educational articles. Thanks for watching guys, I'm Jared. Have a great day.